you know, when I tell, I tell my students when I'm teaching, I say, my brain doesn't know what it's doing. My, my hands have learned this. It's really, or there's a lot of unconscious or subconscious workings going on. You know, lots of times they'll come in here and they'll have the idea of what they want to make. And they, they, it's, it's funny because they'll go like, oh, I just want to make it simple. Let's, I just want to make a box, a you know, square box. And you can see from all my starting material, there's nothing, there's no box. I mean, it, there's cylinder, cylinders and spheres and things like that. So glass does not like sharp right angles like that. So, And then sometimes um, they don't have a, they have a, a vague idea of what they want their apparatus to look like. But they know the theory and the science behind it, so they come in and they'll say, um, well, I'm doing this reaction, and I'm adding this catalyst, and then I have to do this, and then and this reaction is going to happen, you know, and I just have to say, well, well, that's nice. Thank you for that. I said, I understand a little bit of them. But I said, you got to take a step back. What do you want this piece to look like when you walk out with it? I like to problem solve, and I like helping people, and this is it's a great thing to be here because it's uh, you get so many different disciplines coming in. I've gotten burnt worse cooking in the kitchen than I ever have doing this.